This truck put it over your door. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, good day, everyone. It's been a while, and you guys have been asking me what I've been up to. I was actually out of town for nearly three weeks on a hunting trip and also a work trip. So no work got done on my cabin at all. But now I'm back and will be working even harder to try and make up for lost time. It's a winter wonderland here in Labrador now. And as always, beating the elements is a constant challenge. So sit back and relax as I hit the ground, or should I say snow, running, and double down on the hammer. Enjoy. So I don't have all of my electrical done yet. Uh, I'm just trying to do some basic stuff to get a couple lights. In this case, I'm doing the bathroom. So if I can get a, a light in the bathroom here, then that will be good. Um, I don't have my battery system hooked up yet to my panels and stuff. I'm just gonna put some power out to a generator. And again, just to shed some light on my work. And here's the test. Yay! There is light. Now I guess get that bathroom done. Well, we're getting there. The uh, toilet is, uh, I don't have the toilet screwed down in place yet. I'm going to hook up the water beyond it. And I got a tap coming for that, I think, tomorrow. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, I think I'll uh, start working on my water system. Twist it in right off my adapter. Well, 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 well. I'll have to get a metal one. The metal's better anyway. Sit pretty. 
Good girl. I'm gonna put this pressure tank here. I don't think I'm gonna hook it up initially. I'm just gonna put it there in place and I'm just gonna try straight up the pump. That's a three gallon per minute pump, which is a you know a bit of a higher uh, rating for a 12 volt pump. So I'll just go straight from that one to my water system first. If there's any lag in the water supply, then I'll uh, hook up this pressure tank. So that's my hot water on demand system. Uh, it's made by Ecotemp. You can get smaller units than this, but I wanted a household uh, rated one, which that one is. Again, it all comes as a kit. Uh, this and the pump and it's propane and the propane hose regulator all comes with it I'm just testing this don't worry I'm going to vent this outside but there is a uh, you can just test it like that and uh, anyway we're on our way here Certainly not a plumber, but PEX piping makes things pretty simple, you know? You don't want to solder and stuff like that like you would with um, regular copper pipe. And so, I like that. I like simple. I've done a fair bit of PEX piping over the years, and I don't think I ever had a leak. And can't say the same for when I did the copper piping, you know? Excuse me. You're right in the shot. No, I'm making the shot, remember? <laughs> oh, oh, I just like to come in. Afraid you wouldn't be sitting on something, are you? Mm hmm? Just woke up from a big nap, did you? Big nap? Well, I just double checked all the joins, make sure I didn't uh, miss out on any clamps on the go there. So I think I'm done here now. Um, so if you haven't figured it out, I'm gonna have a water reservoir in my cabin and I have a well uh, and it's uh, gonna be, the water will be fed in through this hose. And if you haven't seen my videos on that system, uh, you'll see a thumbnail on the screen right now and I'll leave a link in the description. I won't have any water sitting in my pipes outside because I don't want them to freeze up in the winter time. In the north, that is a huge problem. So basically, I'm going to have it uh, water on demand. It's going to come up and it's going to get in this reservoir and it's going to be 50 gallons of it there. And from there, it'll be pumped up into my hot water on demand and the cold water will just go straight to the pipes. And right from there, it'll feed my cabin. So I have my bathroom done as an experiment first. My toilet's hooked up, my sink is hooked up, and my tub is hooked up and shower. I just gotta put the heads and stuff on there now. And then we're gonna give her a try. Hopefully there's no water flying all over the place, but hopefully there's water flowing through the pipes. See what happens. I'm just gonna try this RV battery for the, for the moment. It's just a 12 volt system anyway. And this will feed off my main battery bank once I get it set up. But for today, I'll just try this one battery. First of all, I gotta get some water up in that tank. This starts up the pump down in the well. Let's 
So that'll fill up that 50 gallon tote very, very quickly in a minute or two. Um, I'm just gonna put enough in it now and give it a test. Should be enough for a test. Turn the power off to the pump. Water all runs back in the pipe again, right down, back down to the well. Now, I don't have any taps or anything open, of course. So I'll open up the valve here. Let's get some power on the pump. Oh, yeah. Throw some water, baby. Fill the pipes. And hear it running down here. Still fill them uh, pipes tight now. All right, let's turn the water on to the taps. Or the tap, I should say. There you go, it's pressurized. You're getting to see it firsthand. Cold water. Look at that. There you go. Turn the water onto the toilet. There she goes. Turn the toilet up. fittings right there maybe I put too much Teflon tape on there possibly I'll just give those an extra little tight in there now and I should take care of that I'm sure now this hot water on demand uses uh, two D cell batteries and it just kind of lays stagnant until you uh, ask for hot water and then these uh, D cell batteries will make a spark which will spark up the propane and just start heating it up on demand I'm gonna play around with these settings a bit you can adjust the water flow and you can adjust the temperature of your water. I'll just leave both at medium now, just to uh, give it a shot. So these batteries go right up in this little compartment right here. Got a little catch there for your batteries, that's cool. Positive, and this one goes up here, that's neat. Now of course, this is not permanent, I'm just testing it today to see if it works. Iron any kinks out of it, and then I'll hook it up to my big propane source outside. Oh boy, she's cool this morning. Minus 30 without the wind. A little breeze wind we got there is making it minus 35. Cold, very cold. I just went inside the cabin there a few moments ago and uh, she's totally warm in there all the same. A lot of you <laughs> love this stove, as I do. I put some wood in that about uh, six, seven o'clock last night. And I filled her full, I turned her on low. That's how much wood is left in it this morning. Pretty amazing, uh, but it just coasts a lot. Especially when you kick in the catalytic combustor. And uh, I just turned up the thermostat a minute ago there. But uh, you know, you turn that one down on low and she'll coast along all night. And even though it was minus 30, this morning is nice and cozy in here. Of course, I've got everything insulated. And where it's so cold now, that's why I'm trying to get this bathroom done. My goal is to get this complete, which would be done today, and then get this master bedroom done. Because right now I'm keeping two cabins going. I'm still up at the other cabin. And keeping two wood stoves going and the other wood stove is burning pretty much double uh, of what this stove here is burning so um, you know uh, that's a lot of wood and winter has only just begun here so the faster 
I can get out of that cabin up there and into this one but then I only got to have that one stove going and cut down on my wood uh, supply and then just like uh, move in but sat us around our feet basically and uh, but that's fine that's great and uh, we got some running water here now I mean can't get much better than that I'm gonna finish up that bathroom now and then start at the bedroom and by the way last night my GoPro battery died it was getting late in the day so I didn't bother to film anymore I tested out the hot water it works really well um, I got a lot to learn with it I had to fool around the dials a bit you know if you want hotter water you turn down the water flow and you turn up the uh, the, the gas I know I had it going there at one point just before I went up in the other cabin and it was too hot to touch really so that's going pretty good so I'm gonna put some more water in this tank another day and uh, just let it all kind of sit there and run off and on and keep checking for leaks and stuff you know and now this pump I'm going to make sure that that's put away this is going to be all enclosed closet here and it's going to be uh, I'll put that pump inside of an insulated box so you won't hear the, the noise as much and it's not too bad anyway and that is certainly not as loud as a regular household pump that's for sure minus 30 and the water is running fine the trick is not to keep any water in your lines and of course the ground is not frozen yet we'll test out <laughs> that the real uh review in january and february month and basically the way it works you turn on your hot water that those two batteries make a little spark a little propane burner starts up and you'll see a blue flame in here let me see if i can show you guys She goes, she starts up, burner starts up inside, warms up the water as it circulates through the system. And as you can tell by the steam there, that is, ouch, it's like too hot to touch. Another test of electrical work. It comes on. Yes, sir. Perfect. A little bit of a stormy morning. Earlier on, it's kind of slacked off a bit now. We had about uh, four or five inches of snow last night. That wasn't forecast, but I guess the old tractor will be going to once. These are only three and a half watts each, which is good. Saving energy, especially when you're off grid. This particular fan light comes with a remote. It says turn the light switch on first. Now it says to, ah ha ha ha, there we go. Nice. Even on speed one, I can really feel the air moving around here. Um, that's good for the winter time, keeping the heat down and for the summer time, cooling everything down. Snow. I 
guys, that's it for this video. A lot of progress made in a few days there. I got water running, it's hot and cold. The room is ready for some furniture. I can move that bed down there now and just move right in and be comfortable. Cook on the wood stove for a bit, kind of rough it, and uh, move along. Time is swiftly passing by. Christmas will soon be here. I'm trying to get everything done before then. I'll try to put out another video, uh, although it's really hard for me. It's really busy. But keep watching for the next video. And until the next video, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. Get outside and enjoy.